In the chaotic modern world, where information overload and constant distractions prevail, the pursuit of inner peace and mental control has become a profound aspiration for many. The mind, like a wild horse, can be difficult to tame, leading to anxiety, stress, and a lack of clarity. Yet, there are those who have mastered the art of navigating the tumultuous seas of their own thoughts, finding serenity amidst the storm. These individuals have discovered the path to controlling the mind, unlocking the door to a realm of tranquility and self-awareness. In this story Zen Master is going to teach us how we can control our mind. Once upon a time in a quaint, secluded valley, nestled between the towering peaks, lived a wise and serene old monk named Master Chan. He was known far and wide for his ability to control his mind and find inner peace amidst life storms. People from all walks of life sought his guidance on the path to tranquility. One day, a troubled young man named Li Wei arrived at the monastery seeking Master Chang's counsel. Li Wei's mind was restless, torn between anxiety about the past and uncertainty about the future. He hoped that the revered monk could help him find solace and control over his thoughts. As Li Wei approached the monastery, he was captivated by the beauty of nature surrounding him. A gentle breeze carried the scent of wildflowers, and the rustling leaves seemed to whisper words of wisdom. Intrigued, Li Wei asked Master Chang, Master, how do you control your mind and find such serenity in this chaotic world? Master Chang smiled warmly and motioned Li Wei to sit beside him beneath a majestic oak tree. He said, Listen carefully, young one. Controlling the mind is like taming the wind. Just as the wind can be wild and untamable, so are our thoughts. But with patience and practice, we can learn to harness this force. Imagine your thoughts are like the winds that blow through this valley, Master Chang continued. Some gusts may be fierce and destructive, while others are gentle and refreshing. The key to controlling the mind lies in observing these thoughts without judgment, like a silent observer of the winds. Li Wei was intrigued by Master Chang's words, and he earnestly asked, But, Master, how can we become this silent observer? My mind seems to be in constant turmoil. Master Chang nodded knowingly and replied, Begin by focusing on your breath. When you breathe in, be fully aware of it. When you breathe out, be equally present. Let your breath become the anchor that brings you back to the present moment whenever your mind wanders. Master Chang demonstrated by taking deep, slow breaths, and Li Wei followed suit. As they breathed together, Li Wei gradually felt a sense of calmness washing over him. Now, observe your thoughts as they come and go, just like the winds passing through this valley, Master Chang advised. Some thoughts may be stormy and overwhelming, while others are gentle and fleeting. The key is not to cling to any of them but to let them pass like clouds in the sky. As they sat in silence, Li Wei noticed his thoughts drifting away like the winds, and he began to feel a newfound sense of freedom from the grip of his mind. Master Chang then shared another crucial insight, your thoughts are like the ripples in a still pond. When the water is agitated, the ripples distort your reflection. But when the water is calm, you see yourself clearly. Likewise, when your mind is turbulent, your perception becomes cloudy. But when you find inner peace, you see the world as it truly is. Li Wei was deeply moved by the wisdom of Master Chang's words. He realized that his quest for controlling the mind was not about suppressing thoughts but about accepting them and finding equanimity amidst the chaos. The days turned into weeks, and Li Wei diligently practiced the art of mindfulness under Master Chang's guidance. Gradually, he began to experience moments of profound stillness and clarity. The whirlwind of his mind started to settle, allowing him to see life from a new perspective. One day, as the sun gently dipped behind the horizon, Li Wei sat by Master Chang's side, feeling grateful for the transformation he had undergone. 
With tears in his eyes, he thanked the wise monk, Master, I have learned the invaluable art of controlling my mind and finding inner peace. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. Master Chang patted Li Wei's shoulder lovingly and said, Remember, young one, controlling the mind is a lifelong journey. Just like the winds that continue to blow, thoughts will arise. The key is to embrace them with love and kindness, allowing them to pass without resistance. As the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Li Wei and Master Chang sat together in tranquil silence, connected not just by words but by the profound understanding of the art of controlling the mind. In the whispering winds of that valley, Li Wei found not only the wisdom he sought but also a lifelong companion, the stillness that resided within his own heart. And so, the journey continued, one breath at a time, on the path to inner peace. The story of Master Chang and the journey of Li Wei teaches us a timeless and profound moral, controlling the mind is not about imposing strict control or suppressing thoughts but rather cultivating mindfulness, compassion, and acceptance. In our fast-paced and chaotic world, it is easy to be consumed by the constant stream of thoughts and external distractions. However, through the practice of mindfulness, we can learn to observe our thoughts without judgment, much like a silent observer of the winds. By focusing on our breath and returning to the present moment, we discover an anchor of stability amidst the tumultuous sea of our minds. The metaphor of the winds in the serene valley teaches us that thoughts are natural and, like the winds, they come and go. Attempting to control them forcefully only leads to frustration and inner turmoil. Instead, we learn to embrace the ebb and flow of thoughts, allowing them to pass like clouds in the sky. As we cultivate mindfulness, we find that the key to controlling the mind lies in accepting its fluctuations with love and kindness. Just as a still pond reflects the world clearly, a tranquil mind allows us to perceive reality without distortions, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and wisdom. The true mastery of controlling the mind is not in resisting or suppressing thoughts, but in surrendering to the present moment and finding solace in the stillness within. By practicing acceptance and self-compassion, we can transform our relationship with our thoughts, bringing about a sense of inner peace that endures even amidst life's storms. Ultimately, the moral of this story is that the journey to controlling the mind is not a destination to be reached but an ongoing practice to be embraced with patience and perseverance. As we continue on this path of mindfulness, we discover the profound truth that the art of controlling the mind leads to profound self-awareness, inner peace, and a harmonious connection with ourselves and the world around us.